Hi, this is Catherine Roseland with Board Game Geek here at Spiel 2017. I'm sitting here with David Dupre from Tiki Editions and he's here to talk about Rat Trap. Exactly. So, uh, Rat Trap is uh, the first game from uh, Tiki in its new line, the family line. It's a game for uh, seven, eight, eight years old and more. Okay. Uh, you will see more is important because we can play and have fun also. So, uh, in this game, we play uh, little rats that will make partnership to find cheese and try to avoid a trap. All right. So, the cheese, uh, which means the points in the game, is represented by this kind of cards. One or two cheese. All right. That's what you're looking for. That's what you try to avoid. I see. Traps. Each time you draw a card, if it's a trap you draw, you will have to take a, a band scratched aid. Yeah, yes. band aid. If you have three band aid, the turn, uh, the game ends, and the one with three band aid lose his cards, and the other one will count the number of cheese they have at the end of a round. And you can also find the last card, the lucky clover. If I have a lucky clover and I have to take a band aid, I can say no, I'm lucky, and I simply don't. So, how do we draw this card? In fact, we'll do that with dice. Yes, it's a dice and card game. When it's my turn, I have these little miniatures in front of me, and I roll the dice, and if I don't like the result, I can roll them one more time. The dice represent the actions available. One key, one door. So with one key, I can draw one card. And if it's two keys, it's two doors. Exactly, from the same deck. If it's a trap, I have to reveal it and take my bandaid. If it's not, I simply store the card in front of me. Okay? So one key, one door, two key, two doors. The stealing hand. Ah. If I have that, and you have a few cards already stored, I can steal a card from you. Simple as that. The cat. The cat head. Ah. When you have that, you point someone and you give him. Exactly. Simple as that. And the reverse, the healing process. If you have, if you have a heart, like that, of course you have. You <laughs> give, exactly. So, that's my turn. I roll the dice up to two times. Let's say that I'm satisfied with that. But there's a twist in the game that makes all the flavor and the originality of the game. I can't use my dice. I have to choose someone around the table, a partner, to whom I give both of my dice. Oh. And then you give me back the dice you want. So oh. you have to choose the one you will keep for you, for yourself. And so because you kept uh, a key, so you draw a card. Is it a trap or not? Ah, oh, it's a trap, too bad. And because I think you, were, you weren't very fair with me, I will send the cat on you, like that. And then it's your turn. You roll the dice, or maybe re-roll them. You, you choose a partner, he gives you back some. Huh? And it works. So there's a, little, uh, a lot of interaction. In exactly. It's a simple game. Dice, it's draw, steal, attack, uh, heal. And cards, it's cheese, trap. So, a children, nice children art, can. Kids like it. Yes, and, play, and, and a lot of interaction. But just for one minute, we had in the game an advanced rule for us to make ah. it a filler for gamer. This, this advanced rule include a, a, another set of dice. And when we play with four or five players, when it's my turn, I roll four dice only once, and I choose two partners. One partner with the white dice, one second partner with the black dice, and each one of them give me back one dice. And then we make the action in the turn of the table. It's not a family game like that, because you have multiple interactions possible, so uh, it's more for us. And last thing, the roll cards. Ah, so everyone will have a special ability that they exactly. can use. Exactly. Exactly. You have, for example, um, 
the cat, the, the, the hypnotist. If I have that and you send the cat of me, on me, I can turn that up and redirect the cat. With Alratoni, you roll the dice, you don't want me as a partner, I can say, no, I'm your partner and you have to give me the dice. No question asked. Um, probably one of my favorites, the manipulator. This one, with a sim simple plan, you reveal it at the beginning of, your, of the game and you take two decks and place them in the order you want you before. Want yes, exactly. So, five powers. Adding a lot more uh, exactly. a lot more the game. Flavor for um, filler for gaming. So, you have the family games, you have the event rule, it's Rat Trap, and um, Fantastic. that's it. Fantastic, thank you so much. From Tiki Editions. Thank you.